Hi guys, it's Hinda and welcome back to Cooking Fantasies. In today's video, we will be making a basic recipe where I will be showing you how to make the perfect fail-proof Genoise or vanilla sponge cake. With only three ingredients and without any baking powder, I will show you the technique to make the fluffiest and most delicious Genoise or vanilla sponge cake, which is a perfect base for all your layer cakes, birthday cakes, fruit cakes, and the sky is the limit. It is very fluffy yet very stable, you get really nice layers and it makes it very easy to work with and you don't get any crumbs while frosting your cakes which also means that you don't need to add a lot of layers of cream to get rid of them. Like I said we will only be using 3 ingredients, I will leave you the exact amounts in caps and grams measurements down in the description box and let's get baking. And we're gonna start by separating the egg yolks from the egg whites and it is very important that the eggs are in room temperature so don't forget to take them out of the fridge at least a couple of hours before you start baking. We will start by working the egg whites into a meringue kind of texture. It doesn't matter if you are using a hand mixer, a stand mixer or an electric whisker. What you should know is that the stronger your machine, the less time it's gonna take you. I want to share a nice tip with you here, if it's maybe too cold where you are or you forgot to take your eggs out of the fridge a little bit earlier, what you can do is soak a kitchen towel in hot water and then wrap it around your mixing bowl. This will bring some warmth into the eggs and makes them easier to work with. So start beating the egg whites on a low speed for a few seconds, then raise the speed on the maximum and beat them for another 5 to 10 minutes depending on what you're using until they have at least tripled in size, they become white and foamy, then it's time to start adding the sugar gradually while continuously beating, which you can also do with a hand mixer. I also added about one teaspoon of vanilla sugar, but this is optional. You can do it, you can also not do it because we're gonna have to soak the cake later on when we're assembling it. So now by the time you have incorporated all the sugar while continuously beating about one tablespoon at the time, I should have said, this is the texture you end up with. It's very stiff and thick. It's almost like a meringue. And now while always still beating, we're going to start adding the egg yolks one at a time. Once all the egg yolks are incorporated, we're going to start adding the flour. It is better if you sift the flour right before you add it into the batter or you do it directly into the batter. Because we don't want to over mix the batter and the less lumps you have, the less you're going to have to fold it. So at the first half of the flour you have sifted and I just give it a quick stir because I don't want it to be flying everywhere. And then mix it on the lowest speed for about one minute. Then immediately sift the rest of the flour and add it to the batter. And again, put it to mix again on the lowest speed for one minute, not more. This one minute on the lowest speed makes it easier to fold in all the flour. But you're gonna have to grab a spatula and continue folding it using just your hands gently with circular motions from the bottom upwards. Make sure not to over mix it, not to over fold it. You're gonna have to stop as soon as everything is well combined. Here I have a 8 inches, that's 20 centimeters baking tin that I have oiled and wrapped in baking paper. You should do this on the bottom and the sides. Also make sure to extend the parchment paper way above the baking tin. This is important in case the cake rises more than the baking tin, depending on which size you are using. And I also find it to protect the surface or the upper crust from over baking or getting too brown. Pour the butter gently into the baking tin and try to even it out from the surface. Make sure that it fills the whole pan nicely and then bake it in a preheated oven to 175 degrees Celsius. That's 347 degrees Fahrenheit for about one hour from 60 to 65 minutes depending on your oven. As soon as we take the cake out of the oven, we're gonna have to unmold it while it's still hot. And for this, I'm gonna be trimming the parchment paper to make it easier to flip it over. So use a cooling rack to flip the cake and unmold it right away. 
make sure that your cake is even on the cooling tray because this is how you're gonna get rid of the bump and get a flat or straight layer then immediately peel off the parchment paper and it's very important to do this while the cake is still hot and as you can see the result is really outstanding the cake has risen to about four inches that's 10 centimeters without using any baking powder and you have really nice well-defined edges a nice crust to work with which means not many crumbs in your frosting but you're gonna have to allow the cake to totally cool before you can cut it into layers and it's even better to do this right before you start assembling it so this is the ultimate Genoise recipe without any baking powder with only three ingredients. If you follow all the instructions and tips, you're gonna achieve this result. Once the cake is totally cold, you can wrap it in a plastic wrap. You can freeze it for up to a month or keep it in your fridge for three days. So it's perfect to make in advance. If you still have any questions regarding the recipe, don't hesitate to ask me down below in the comment section and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more recipes and see you soon. Happy baking!